Before you start using your QuickBooks Online account, you should be aware of how to handle changes and updates to the online software. Periodically, they will change the interface. That means they move around where you're supposed to click. If you have any questions about this topic, you can leave them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to help you. And of course, if you feel the video helped you, I hope you will click like and don't forget to subscribe to get updates on new videos that come out all the time. QuickBooks Online never changes in a fundamental way. In other words, they are the exact same reports regardless and the names of the reports are the same. You will record the very same transactions in the same windows, and those windows are also the same. The only differences you might see between the video and what's on your screen is exactly the place to click to open that report or open that transaction window. Those places get moved around all the time by the QuickBooks Online engineers, and I ask that you be patient if there's a different place to click on the screen when compared to the video. But have confidence, once you find the place to click to open the transaction or to open the report, everything will be the same. So what will be some of the changes to the interface that you may see that might show a little difference on the screen than what's in the video? Well, the first one is the Add New menu option that we discussed in the prior video when we were learning about navigating QuickBooks Online. Those are things that we would open for day-to-day -day tasks like transactions. They simply moved it from the top right to the top left and they may move it back and that's why I can't redo the videos every time they decide to move the plus sign to a different place. All the options to open the same windows are still there. So, in mine, when I come here, I notice that in my QuickBooks Online, the plus sign is no longer on the top right. It is now here, where I click New, and notice all the choices to make a new type of transaction or task is right here on the left. But when I recently created another account for a client of mine and I created that account after they changed it, that client has the plus sign in the original position with all of the same choices to open all of the same windows and those windows will look the same. So whether yours is on the right or yours is on the left, don't worry just be patient and open up the appropriate window and the rest of the course will go smoothly. The only other clear change that you will see to the interface is the reports navigation window. The reports themselves are the same. The names are the same, the names of the categories of reports are the same, and using them are completely the same from the old interface to the new. Just patiently look around to find the category and report you need and have confidence that it is somewhere on the screen. You see, it used to look this way, where you would open it up and you would click the reports menu here on the left, and these would be the categories of the reports up top, and these would be the subcategories down here. You see, after you clicked on a category like all reports, you would choose a particular report. But nowadays, the interface looks like this, where you would click Reports, because it's still on the left, and it's still the only place you can get to the Reports menu, and now there are three major categories, Standard, Custom, which we will be using in most of the course, and Management Reports. And these Management Reports are even repeated in the Standard category, and if you click Standard, you can see all the subcategories are the same. Business Overview has all the reports with the same name, who owes you regarding customers, 
All these reports have the same name and behave the same. So have confidence that you can always find what you're looking at even if the video tells you to click on something that has been moved over a little bit.